part of the Sacramento game. He was not available to Minnesota in the fourth quarter. They could have easily won that game in Sacramento had Rubio been available to them. Levine. Zach Levine back from the sore right knee that had him out on Sunday and back in the stuff. Nice move by MKG. Kid Gilchrist, who has been troubled by injuries throughout his young NBA career, has been mostly healthy this season. Carl Anthony Towns with his first points of the game. And is to one of the players who cashed in in the offseason, Gorky Jang, able to get it. Batum five years off. Levine out of the corner. And Zach Levine. You gotta like the elevator door. He has not been good from really anywhere on the floor except from the middle of the floor. He's shooting a career low 29.5% from three point range coming into this game. Loose ball, the Wolves come up with it. Charlotte being so disruptive. Wiggins for three. Rubio will load the triple and drill the triple. The three-point shooting is getting contained. It's been a week of birthdays. Shabazz Muhammad's birthday was this past Saturday. Rubio, length of the floor pass, and how beautiful was that? Sam Bradford's got nothing on Ricky Rubio. All over the top by Batum, and nice feed by Spencer Hawes. Wiggins, the three, drills just, it, and now he's heating up. Yeah, just like that. Okay. As you know, the pass was on target that time. The Shot clock already down to four. Gorgie Jang has to let it fly. Rubio there, but it's denied by Kid Gilchrist. And now Gorgie with some active hands. Williams ends up with it for the three ball. Rubio long pass for Andrew Wiggins. And Wiggins gets mugged. And the Wolves are just happy to have that sequence finally come to an end. And Andrews he is... He's more of a uh, shot first point guard. He's more of a scoring point guard, but his, his ability to handle the basketball is, is tremendous. Towns dumps it underneath for Gorg. Rubio gets it right back. Kemba quick to pick him up, and then Ricky able to get him to reach in for the foul. Timberwolves have only attempted eight free throws in this game, and I gave the number in the first half, but it's worth really is a it's, it's one of those things you can do so many things on the floor to help your team be successful. Towns gets Kaminsky leaning backwards and then steps back to drill the gym. Wiggins steps back. Rubio tries to come up with it. He gets fouled from behind by Bellinelli. They're over the limit. So Rubio will get some free throws. Wiggins, he was being held, gets it over to Rubio, and that's justice. You don't get the whistle, so they say, well, we'll take the three instead. When you see a player's jersey snap. Offensive efficiency for the Wolves on the rebound, on the offensive glass, and the defensive rebound percentage for Charlotte as we get the foul here on the out-of-bounds play. Out of the last 23 shots the Wolves have missed, Charlotte has rebounded 19 of them. Yeah. Rubio gets around the screen. Walker kicks it for Kaminsky. Kaminsky with a season high in points already in this game, and he's going to add to the total and add one for Frank Kaminsky. Uh, Frank Kaminsky was a really great college player by making plays just like this. Ricky is on an island. No one was trying to help him. He was in isolation right Carl Anthony Towns three all right back to a one possession game Morgans Towns for three off the front of the iron and that's just about gonna do it as Kid Gilchrist is fouled and now a chance to walk up to the free throw